right here, right now, on your favorite channel. The SCCA Spec Racer Board Challenge. Studio David Invitational. WeatherTech Raceway at Laguna Seca in the full course configuration is a 2.23 mile 11 turn road course. Banking is 0 to 8 degrees. Elevation change is a dizzy and 180 feet. Laguna Seca is known for the infamous corkscrew turn. Alright, just past the entrance onto pit road there, coming down hard, breaking onto the front straight here. Down the long front straight here, gathering up speed, going up through the gears. Here we're coming, start finish line. The clock starts now. Coming up the hill, a little bit of a rise. This is actually considered turn one here. Down the hill into turn two, which is Andretti hairpin. This is kind of an off camber. I'm sure it's flat, but it feels like Vaseline on a mirror. Hugging that curb around and then out to the left hand side there, coming down into turn three. Easy, easy here. This is another flat one. You can get off in the sand real easy. Underneath the Firestone Bridge, you can shift up the fourth here, I think. I keep it in third. Turn four. Come down. It's, it, this track is really wide, but man, it can bite you. This little jog right here is not considered a turn. Underneath the Mother's Bridge into turn number five, you can set somebody up for a pass right here. Nice and wide. But if you come in hot again, you're off to the sand on the right. Up the hill. Coming into my favorite corner, turn six. You downshift into third. The car hits this little dip. You just hammered. It. it sticks like a magnet. Up the Ray Hall straight. And we're heading for it. You know what that is. Yeah, the Bubba Burger sign. No, turn seven. Just a little jog to the right. And it's the corkscrew, people. Man, this one here, you can fuck it up in a heartbeat. When you get through well, it feels like the first time. All right, coming down here to turn nine. This one here is kind of tricky, too. You come in a little bit on the left-hand side more than you think. Coming down to turn 10. Another flat one. This one here, again, you think you want to come in a little hotter than you really are, and that'll screw you up. Up through the gears again. Hard, hard braking into turn 11. You can set somebody up for the front straight, but the AI gets off so good. Good luck on that. And then back on the front straight, and here we go, and working up through the gears, end of the start-finish line, complete our qualifying lap. Starting grid, Nibon 5 takes the pole. Outside pole is Dom Parker Racing, and Chad's 3 is starting in third. G-Lord Gaming, Tube Rafter fell out the top five. The King is in six, Kingfish Racing 7, Jim Lacey in the eighth position, Griffin 24, 48, and ninth, and rounding out the top ten is Power Car. We have Woody in 11th, then Boomer Studios, TKT Racing, Tony the Traffic Light, Torresano, Blue Angel, I am starting 16th, Stephen Wolfram, Adrian Burks, Julie T, Joel Blewett, John Hammond, James Waldo, P51 Mustang, and Double Clutch Racing with the Miller Beer bringing up the rear. All right, enough's enough, let's race. Starting 16th. Not a whole lot, lot of time to talk before we get the green light here. Green, green, green. There we go. Got to be real careful on the start here where we're all packed up because uh, we'll start breaking really hard here. Well, most of us will be. Okay, good start, good start. Tony the traffic light. Ooh, the traffic light in front of me. Ooh, cold hard tires on the first lap. Be careful. Up front, it's Nibon 5, Don Parker Racing, Chad's 3, G Lore Gaming, and the King rounding out the top five. 
my nemesis corner. By the way, in case I haven't mentioned it before, and I don't think I have, been meaning to. Letting off the gas fully on this spec racer as I almost blow that corner is almost like tapping the brakes with the gearing that this car has. change up my shifting points now and then depending on how the car feels. Okay, we got uh, Woody, TKT, and Tony kind of starting to pack up a little bit here. That's not a good thing. Because it's hard enough to pass one, let alone three. Ooh, big movement by the Coca-Cola machine. little separation between Tony and TKT. Blue Angel just waiting for me to make a mistake, like right here. No, I made it. Okay, okay. Boy, the AI gets off the corner so good. Okay, can I get Tony? I can. Oh, maybe not. Good job on the outside, T. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Love that little hill, that little dip. Okay, okay. Only lap four. We got eight minutes to go. Take it easy, take it easy. Checking out front, Dom Parker Racing, Chad's 3, g Lord Gaming have closed the gap on the leader, Nibon 5. The King is way back in 5th.
I'm going to watch these guys get off. Well, I kind of hung with them a little bit. I think Woody's holding up uh, TKT. I usually don't hit fifth. Ooh. Looks like Woody got a little loose there. Oh, and I'm fucking with buttons. I'm trying to get my, uh, there it is. Hit the wrong button for my visor. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be back in uh, 16th, it looks like. Nibon 5 in turn 5 is off in the dirt. What a chain of events. That hands Dom Parker racing the lead with Chad's 3 and G Lore Gaming in the first three positions. That's why I don't go into fifth gear into the hairpin there. I just carry a little bit too much for my braking talent. Well, that drops me back to 17. All my errors. Kind of feel it in the front tires now. They've given up a little bit as far as stickiness.
we'll just stay in fourth gear this time. Kind of lift so I'm not on the chip. I might be able to get Steven sometime in the next lap or so here. But that looks like it might be my only next position gain. Don Parker Racing. That was a good corner. Ooh, I think we're going to get the white flag already. Boy, it seems like that was pretty quick. Nope, next time around, I bet. Ooh, that was a pretty damn good lap, really. Ooh. Didn't expect that. Ooh. Didn't expect that. Sorry about that, Steven. But 63 belongs in front of 64. And I believe we're going to get the white flag next time by. Follow Steven in a little hot. That lets Adrian get by. Oh man. Well, this is partially why I'm doing this. I'm not much of a road racer, so I need practice. I need seat time. I need to make mistakes so I don't make them again. time to catch Steven, I don't think. I just got to be careful that I don't overdrive it and cost myself another position. And Tony T is right in front of him. They had take, they had increased the gap quite a bit, but we've, uh, even with my errors, have kind of run them down. Or maybe they've had some bad corners. Well, it's looking like a 17th, one worse than my start, which actually is not that bad. All right. Let's 
17th. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I don't know what happened with that. We'll keep working on that. And here's your finishing order. Race winner, Dom Parker Racing. Congratulations. Second place, Chad's three. G Lord Gaming coming home with a podium. Fourth place is Nibon Five. Rounding out the top five is the King. Good job there, my man. Sixth place is Tube Rafter. Seventh place, King Fish Racing. Eighth place is Jim Lacey. Ninth is Griffin 2448. Rounding out the top ten is Power Car. Boomer Studios, home 11. Woody comes in 12th. TK Racing, 13. Blue Angel came home in 14th. 15th place was filled by Tony Torresano. 16th was Stephen Wolfram. I came home in 17th. Adrian Burks in 18th. Julie T, 19th. Joel Blewett in the top 20. James Waldo, John Hammond, P51 Mustang. Double Clutch Racing, 24. We'll take a quick look at the standings, but of course they're the same as the finishing order for round one here at Laguna Seca. Next up is Sakuba Circuit. Hey, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.